Hey everyone, the good, the bad and the buggy here, looking at the machine gunner class in Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. First of all, I'd like to briefly look at this class's equipment. Your main weapon will be a light machine gun with a support stand attached in order to set up behind cover or on the ground to improve accuracy. As you can see, the light machine gun is quite inaccurate on its own as the recoil after the first shot will throw the gun in the air, meaning you'll almost always be wanting to use the weapon stand. The default key binding to extend or retract the stand is C. For the most part, you should leave your stand extended, however, during any rare time you'll be moving through enemy territory, you should consider retracting the stand as it may impede your ability to aim quickly. In order to set up the light machine gun, either go up to some roughly waist height cover, and when the stand symbol appears, right click or press whatever your toggle line sights button is, and you'll place the stand on the cover, allowing you to fire with a much greater degree of accuracy and allowing you to automatically take cover when reloading. Alternatively, you can go prone to set up your machine gun on the ground. Depending on where you are, this may provide more cover than setting up on an object, however you will not gain any extra cover whilst reloading. Aside from that, the machine gunner class comes with a pistol, which should only be used if you're running low on ammo, and grenades which should be used for clearing out enemies behind impenetrable cover. This class generally does not have much use in offence. This is not necessarily because the class is bad, but simply because everything you need to do when pushing on a point can be done better with the Rifleman class. When you're pushing on a point, you'll often spot an enemy lurking at range. In order to take them out with one of the light machine gun weapons with an accurate shot, you'd need to set up the weapon supports, find some cover to set up behind or go prone, then finally line up the shot before firing. This may not sound like much, but consider the fact that when pushing on a point, you're going to be constantly moving, and of course there's going to be more than one enemy defending a point, meaning the act of constantly setting up your weapon are only going to slow you down, where playing as a rifleman will allow you to push on a point quicker without sacrificing any offensive ability. With that in mind, you may think that the light machine guns will perform better in close quarters combat, however this is not the case for the same reason. A class with a shotgun is far superior at close range, and even the rifleman classes can still do enough damage to kill an enemy just as quickly as a light machine gunner. So in what scenarios are the machine gunner classes useful? Well, if your squad is pushing on a point, you can still provide assistance by protecting their flank. Find some decent cover to set up behind, and cover an area on your squad's flank that the enemy is most likely to circle towards in order to cut through the side of an attack. This eliminates the need to constantly reposition to remain effective, and makes full use of your high clip capacity. Note, however, that this will require communication with your squad, or at least regularly checking your map, as if your squad is killed, you will likely be exposed to a counter push, and must reposition accordingly. Where the machine gunners rarely shine, however, is in defence. Find a position that the enemy appears to be massing to charge on, either by checking the map for groups of marks, or through communication with the rest of your team, and set up in some cover overlooking an area the enemy will move through. In both of these scenarios, the most important thing to get right is positioning. When looking for a position to set up, there are three things you need to remember. Firstly, your setup position must give you a view of an area the enemies are going to cross. Secondly, you must not give yourself too much to cover. You should not be covering more than an area that takes up the size of your screen without moving, and ideally it should be even smaller than that. This is because it will be incredibly easy for the enemy to pick you off if you're too busy covering a wide area. Thirdly, you should not position yourself somewhere obvious. I know it's very tempting to set up your big machine gun at the top of the big building at the centre of the objective, defending it like you're the lord of all you survey, but I'm afraid that's the first place the enemy will aim for when trying to shoot you at range. Instead, be creative with your positioning. Try to find somewhere to set up that the enemy won't expect, and ideally make it somewhere that they won't be facing when they come into view, like the side of the main route they must go through to take the objective. This reduces the risk of you being discovered, because if your position is discovered, you should reposition immediately, as it will be only be a matter of time before grenades will rain down on you for an easy kill. When defending as a machine gunner, you will be the most exposed person there, meaning you really can't afford to be slow on the uptake when firing on an enemy looking to hit you. Don't waste too much time lining up your shot, even if it means you can't guarantee a hit. Remember your main objective is to pin down the enemy, not kill them, and you can't do that if you get pinged in the head because you were too busy lining up your shot instead of laying down suppressing fire. Of course, this all assumes you have teammates around you backing you up. If you're alone, then killing the enemy should take a higher priority. Because of this need to open fire as soon as you see movement, there's a real risk of hitting a teammate. You should constantly check your map in order to see whether one or two lone allies have pushed into that area. 
If there's more than that, however, it likely means that other teammates are repelling an enemy charge further ahead, and you should reposition in order to remain useful. Having to constantly keep up suppressive fire may also cause your weapon to overheat. It takes quite a lot of constant fire for a light machine gun to overheat, about three clips worth of ammo for the USM-60 and two and a half for the VC's RPD. However, these weapons take just as long to cool down, so consider using lulls in the fighting immediately around you to take a break from shooting and cool your weapon. If you do continue firing while your weapon is overheating, you'll warp the barrel. This will make your weapon extremely inaccurate, even while set up on its stand, and there's no way to fix this without respawning. If your barrel does warp, you can still do a good job of laying down suppressive fire, however it is quite unlikely you'll score many kills. In summary, the machine gun class requires a patient player who won't mind not being in the charge, and can put up with constantly changing positions. This class has little offensive use, and without a decent squad around you and supporting you, it is outperformed by other classes. However, when positioned correctly, and with a sharp eye for movement, you can effectively blunt and even stop an enemy charge or counter push in its tracks, allowing your teammates the time and support they need to gather themselves and rally for further offences. This is not a class for beginners and can be very frustrating to those who are not experienced enough with the game or the map you're playing. If you fall into either of these categories, then I'd advise sticking with the Rifleman class for now to get a little more experience. I hope this video has been helpful to some of you. Thanks for watching and good luck.